Michaels. Hey now! Beautiful counter by Flair. Only the Nature Boy could execute a reversal with such style. And his head drops right down into the corner. A textbook suplex. The opportunistic veteran in the ring today, Nature Boy Ric Flair, who's overcome it all. 16-time world champion. Survived a horrific plane crash years ago when he suffered a broken back. And not many people thought that Ric Flair would ever come back to WWE after that. But not only did he come back, he came back to dominate. Can you imagine coming back from a plane crash like the Nature Boy? That's not exactly a pulled hamstring. No, and that's just another one of the reasons that Ric Flair is an absolute legend of the WWE. Woo! Oh, Ric Flair, the dirtiest player in the game, is going to do whatever it takes to put Shawn Michaels in his place here tonight. Flair is just so confident. Some would say borderline arrogant, but boy, so confident. Well, believe me, Flair is arrogant, and he doesn't apologize for it. He's the nature boy. You know, Shawn Michaels might be as athletic a superstar as we have in WWE today. And that's always the one thing to watch out for in a Shawn Michaels match. With his athleticism, HBK has the ability to dictate the pace of a match, like a fast-break basketball team. Well, that's if he gets going, Cole. Ric Flair is doing everything he can to prevent Shawn Michaels from getting any kind of momentum in this match. Woo! Oh, I bet we see Nature Boy reach even deeper into his bag of tricks tonight than he usually does. Desperate people do desperate things, and Ric Flair needs to win this match here tonight. And we all know what kind of tactics Ric Flair can call on when he's desperate. The dirtiest player in the game. Didn't earn that nickname by playing nice. Oh, come on now. That was just uncalled for. Yep, there's the reversal by Shawn Michaels. Oh, HBK hits a huge elbow. Cole, you put it mildly before when you said Randy Orton's tactics on the road to wrestle. You've got to be kidding me. Devastating. Simply devastating. Shawn Michaels, and they kick out it too. A quick reversal by Ric Flair. Boy, did he get dropped or what? He anticipated that move perfectly. Here goes Michaels. And Shawn Michaels is rolling. Well, that didn't work. Well, going to the top, high risk. Whoa! Oh! He probably cracked a couple ribs on that landing. The one thing Ric Flair wants to do here tonight is negate the speed and quickness advantage that Shawn Michaels has over him, and it looks like he may be doing it. Well, even if Shawn Michaels is quicker and faster than the Nature Boy, he'll never have the arsenal of moves Four. that Nate has. Maybe he doesn't need that arsenal, King, as agile and athletic as Shawn Michaels is. Big impact into the guardrail. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. Just trying to, and it's imperative he gets back in the ring right now. Oh no, look at Flair. Flair's hurt bad. Hang in there, Nate. Hang in there. Cole, he's getting destroyed. And Flair's chances for victory here tonight may be getting destroyed as well, King. Shawn Michaels called Ric Flair his idol. Why would he be doing this? I can't believe it. Shawn Michaels hits the jackpot with a huge move. He may get the three count right here. Three. Shawn Michaels has done it. Taking down his idol, Ric Flair. Oh, Shawn Michaels should be ashamed. No respect for the nature boy. We can think back to the last 20 years and some of the greatest five-star matches and match of the year candidates. And one common denominator is that they usually had either Ric Flair or Shawn Michaels in them. And that's why this match is almost guaranteed to be special. I love it. The Texas crowd does too, King. The cheers for HBK already starting up from his home state fans. But you can hear that Flair has his cult following too, as always. The kick connects. He's putting those educated feet to good use. 
It was just a little over two years ago that we saw one of the greatest events in WWE history held right here in Houston, WrestleMania 18. Well, there's always been a rich history between WWE and the state of Texas, Cole, and this incredible event is just going to add one more chapter to that book. Yeah, and I live here. Ooh, that big right hand driven right into the rib cage. HBK sees the opportunity. Did you see that, Cole? Talk about getting your spine adjusted. Jeez. Oh, the reversal. Ooh. See that, Cole? Talk about getting your spine adjusted. Jeez. Reversal. And Ric Flair reverses it. We'll see just how important Ric Flair's signature move, the figure four leg lock, becomes before the end of this match. When the Nature Boy uses it effectively, it's been said that it puts severe pressure on seven different points of your legs. Well, let me tell you something, Cole. I felt it, and I hate it. I don't think there's anything worse than the figure four leg lock from Flair. Well, except maybe for one of his chops. Ric Flair is a force within the ring. Sees the opening. Shawn Michaels gets out of that one. Nice move. Oh, Ric Flair, the dirtiest player in the game, is going to do whatever it takes to put Shawn Michaels in his place here tonight. Flair is just so confident. Some would say borderline arrogant, but boy, so confident. Well, believe me, Flair is arrogant, and he doesn't apologize for it. He's the nature boy. Ric Flair is not someone to sleep on. The opportunistic veteran in the ring today, Nature Boy Ric Flair, who's overcome it all. 16-time world champion. Survived a horrific plane crash years ago when he suffered a broken back. And not many people thought that Ric Flair would ever come back to WWE after that. But not only did he come back, he came back to dominate. Can you imagine coming back from a plane crash like the Nature Boy? That's not exactly a pulled hamstring. No, and that's just another one of the reasons that Ric Flair is an absolute legend of the WWE. Woo! Ric Flair is a force within the ring. You know, Shawn Michaels might be as athletic a superstar as we have in WWE today. And that's always the one thing to watch out for in a Shawn Michaels match. With his athleticism, HBK has the ability to dictate the pace of the match, like a fast-break basketball team. Well, that's if he gets going, Cole. Ric Flair is doing everything. Taking full advantage of the situation is Shawn Michaels. You know, Ric Flair would love to get Shawn Michaels into the corner as often as he can tonight. Trying to take away Shawn's speed advantage. That's it. He's out. Shawn Michaels showing no intimidation here tonight. Not that we thought Shawn would. Showing no intimidation, but showing no respect either. I'm a little disappointed. Shawn Michaels hit that. He thinks he has it. And only a one count. What a match. Cole, you put it mildly before when you said Randy Orton's tactics on the road to WrestleMania 21 were slightly unorthodox. Yeah. If delivering an hard KO to his own girlfriend live on Raw, as Orton did, is slightly unorthodox, then I don't want to know what extremely unorthodox would be. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, wow. his opponent is completely helpless to resist the submission hold. The one thing Ric Flair wants to do here tonight is negate the speed and quickness advantage that Shawn Michaels has over him, and it looks like he may be doing it. Well, even if Shawn Michaels is quicker and faster than the Nature Boy, he'll never have the arsenal of moves that Nate has. Maybe he doesn't need that arsenal, King, as agile and athletic as Shawn Michaels is. Well, in the events leading up to this match, Shawn Michaels brought tears to Nature Boy's eyes by telling him how he idolized Ric Flair. 
nearly worshipped Ric Flair. But King Sean eventually got stabbed in the back by Ric Flair. Wait a minute, that's for Michaels being stabbed in the back. That was just typical nature, boy. If Shawn Michaels really idolized Flair like he said he did, he should have expected it from the dirtiest player in the game. Just because HPK should have seen it coming doesn't make it right. I just don't think that Shawn Michaels can handle the nature boy. But you know what? There's no shame at all in losing to Ric Flair. No shame at all. Lots of guys have done it. But HBK is still fighting. And this Texas crowd is trying to will Shawn Michaels back into this thing. Well, good luck. Because this is textbook Ric Flair. Hopefully some of the youngsters in the locker room are taking notes. Oh, no. Look at Flair. Flair's hurt bad. Hang in there, Nate. Hang in there. Oh, he's getting destroyed. And Flair's chances for victory here tonight may be getting destroyed as well, King. Shawn Michaels called Ric Flair his idol. Why would he be doing this? I can't believe that Shawn Michaels is showing this much disrespect to the greatest champion of all time. And he reversed it. Good move there. doing whatever it takes to win. Bam! He was one step ahead on that one. Oh, what's Flair going for here? But wait, a reversal by Shawn Michaels. And, ooh, Flair hit that corner hard. He's dazed. Yeah, really dazed. Here comes HBK. Oh, Ric Flair's in trouble here. Watch this. Oh, man, Flair gets some of his own medicine. He is chopped. He is dazed. And, ooh, he is down. Woo! And he rolls out, buying himself some breathing room. This reversal there. And he gets escorted back through the ropes. A quick reversal by Ric Flair. And he's heading back in. He was able to reverse that. A monumental move by Shawn Michaels. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Scramble your eggs. He's got him. Dividends. 